today we are going to look at whole numbers this is an important topic especially at grade 6 and grade 7 mathematics so we want to look what is involved in whole numbers today we will start with place values what are place values each number when you write a number each number is a place value and knowing those place values helps us to read or to write a number in words correctly therefore place values help to read large numbers for example we have 125 the pronunciation 125 is according to the place values of the digits here it means 5 these are units 2 tens 1 these are hundreds so we have units tens hundreds so we start to allocate our place values from the right to the left units tens hundreds so they increase from the right to the left so if you want to write this in words it's 125 125 we shall see in the next lesson why we put end here so one this 120 this means there are two tens so it's 25 these five are units so these are this is the 100 this is the 10 this is the unit so this means we have two tens another example 25216 25216 let's allocate the place values let's first write this in words so it's 25,216. All these words in colors shows the place value. Let's see on this chart which illustrates the place values for 25,216. You can see that two, these are twin, uh, these are two tens of thousands, then five, these are thousands, then two are hundreds, one are tens, six are units. So that's how we read numbers, and th those are the place values for numbers. Exam type questions. Let's look at exam type questions. What is asked at grade 7 final exams? I took these questions from two past papers state the value of 6 in 36,238 so the first thing here is to allocate the place values to the numbers so we start from the right to the left so these are units these are tens these are hundreds these are thousands these are ten thousands you shall see that at later stage that uh, the values increase by a zero as we go to the left so here we want six so let's identify our six and then allocate the place values from the left to the right so this one stands for a unit ten for tens hundred for hundreds uh, thousands for thousands ten thousands for ten thousands you can see even here we do not have a zero here we now have one and a zero here we now have one two zeros so place values increases by the number of zeros so the value is six thousand the value of six here are thousands so this means it's six thousands number two the value of six in four thousand six hundred and the 35 is let's first allocate the place values these are units 
denoted by 1, these are tens denoted by 10, these are hundreds denoted by 100, these are thousands, you can see here, there's a thousand. So I want to know the value of 6 here, these are hundreds. So I valued 6 times 100, which gives us 600. So according to the answers available, it's 600. This is the answer. These are a few things to do. On your own, try to do these questions. What is the value of 2 in 17,126? 7 in 72,124, 5 in 1,517, 9 in 129. This marks the end of our lesson.